Hey, what's up guys? So I've been asked personally how I upload my photos from my DSLR or my mirrorless camera directly to my phone. I know a lot of cameras today, they're basically, they have the capability of having Wi-Fi, but you know, sometimes that's not included in the camera that you're able to purchase. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it and it's actually faster than using the in-body wireless um, feature that these cameras have to offer. All right, so I'm just going to do it live basically. Um, so let's get to it. First you want your camera that you're going to use. We're going to take a picture. Okay, just took the picture. I'm going to take the SD card out. Okay. So here's the SD card that I just used for that camera. Now, in order to do this, this is really important. This is the device that you actually need. It's called the iFlash um, device HD. Um, this actually supports both iPhone and Android because it comes with the micro SD port and then the lightning socket. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna just connect the SD card to the device. So it's connected. You're gonna get your smartphone now. And this is all live, I haven't done anything crazy. We're gonna connect it. You're gonna have a pop-up appear, basically, and it's just letting, saying if, um, if you trust it, if you want to allow the transfer and for the USB to have access to your phone. So I'm gonna put allow. It's gonna open up the app that you need to download for um, the USB to work. We're gonna go to, to device storage, because we have a USB installed. Like so, it's gonna show the folder of where your files are kept. So we're gonna click that. We're gonna click that. And then it's gonna show us basically all the files that are on the camera. I know it's kinda hard to see. So there's a photo that we just took. I just took a picture of me recording right now. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna press share and then we're gonna save to the device and now it's in the camera and now from here you can use whatever editing software that you like whether it's the Lightroom mobile which is amazing Snapseed which is top-notch as well but if you do like those like retro hipster filters I tend to use them too because they're great uh, you can download an app called VSCO it's called Visco and um, from there you can just import your your image and that's how simple it really is it took three minutes from taking the picture to having it completely ready to edit on my phone and from there you can upload to wherever you want whether it's Instagram snapchat Facebook whatever it is so I hope this video helped out anyone that's curious on how I personally upload my photos to get those really nice shots and how to have those really really sharp images without any distortion from importing them like through an email or anything like that so if you like the video thumbs up I'm gonna be also doing some quick little videos like this in the future so stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks, guys.